This video is uh, about the uh, uh, debugging problem on the Windows Dev Kit 2023 related to installing the Windows debug tools on the ARM64 devices, I think in general, but specifically my experience with the Windows Dev Kit 2023. I got my Dev Kit a couple of days ago, opened it up, there's a little card inside that has a short URL, that type it in, it takes you to this page. This is the getting started guide. Um, power it on, do all these, here's the buttons, the familiarity with it. Install uh, Visual Studio 2022, 17.4 preview, is now up to preview six, um, which I did. So I installed that, you know, I installed it for Windows, uh, for the C++ development. And in there, it has the Windows 11 SDK that it installs. And I'm familiar with the Windows 10 SDK. This is actually my first Windows 11 box, but I'm not seeing in here any sort of the standard uh, Windows debugging tools listed out as an individual component. So by installing Windows 11 SDK, I think that it comes with the debugging tools, WinDBG and CDB, and this video is about that it does not. In addition to installing Visual Studio, I had a, a goal, uh, a task here to also build a Qt application for ARM. And so my problem that I was running into was here's my application um, my Qt app that that runs fine on a an uh, x64 PC on a different PC. Uh, let me get rid of this. I, I'm remoted into my uh, dev kit right now, but let me get rid of this just so it doesn't get in the way. This is the app, it's just a general application that does work. And then I tried the debug and it basically uh, CDB not found. And so this happened a couple days ago. The error message was a little different. It was related more to um, the kit. Kit's debugger is not configured in the kit. I'll show you the the, the error message in a moment. I googled it and searched for the Qt kit debugger not configured, and it took me to a couple web pages and it basically boiled down to coming into preferences and setting in your preferences kits kits debuggers, and here it finds the ten slash eleven. I'll just call it that. SDK's CDB that it installed, but it cannot find the 64-bit. This is a little different from the out-of-the-box insta uh, installation of Qt because I've, I've messed with a couple of settings and it's kind of got some legacy set up here. Truly, if I probably exited Qt and came back, this would look a little different. Basically, this line is not there. Um, it is only this line that shows up on an, uh, a fresh install of Qt on these dev kits. I was like, hey, well, it didn't have the 64 when I was looking in there. It was only this x86. Oh, and then here was this conspicuous. I found this kind of poorly worded where it says, you specify the path, the Windows console debugger executable 64-bit version here. And I don't know if here means inside of this, because this is not editable. So... When you say you specify here, you can't specify it because it's auto detect. Um, or do they mean here in this URL, specify it on a web page? It doesn't make any sense we do that. So I, I go here anyway. And it brings me to this web page where it's debugging x64 on Windows ARM 64 host, which is the situation I'm in. So uh, this is a, it's some interesting text here. And it says basically the, the Windows Software Development Kit, which is the current Windows 11 SDK, does not install on a Windows 11 ARM host the x64 directory, which would host the CDB needed for debugging x64 applications. Funny, I'm seeing the exact same thing when I came over to, this is the install path of the Windows installation. I have no x64 folder. Okay, it's confirming that that's true, but it says Windows 11 SK does actually deliver the redistributable installer at this location, which when executed will install and make the x64 CDB available. All right, so let me go to this folder. Um, wait, I'm already there. This says C program files x 86 windows kits 10 debuggers redist i have no redist folder 
Okay, I've been here before. I've downloaded the SDK many times. So let me just go to the Windows SDK and download the Windows SDK and I'll just get it myself. There is a um, documentation about the Windows debugging tools for Windows. How you get it is you install the Windows driver kit, the WDK or the Windows SDK, or you can do it as a standalone. You might as well at that point just install a Windows SDK. So I download it. I've got it right here in this folder and I run it. And this is a little bit of a beef or a gripe about the confusion here that I've downloaded the Windows 11 SDK. So if you'll let me a, a moment to digress, um, I've downloaded the Windows 11 SDK and it says Windows 10. Okay, I get that Windows 11 is, uh, I think, has it shipped or is it still preview? I, I think it's shipped. I think it's shipped. I've seen it sold, so I'm pretty sure it's shipped. So why is this not called the Windows 11 SDK? Why is this not Windows 11? A little confusing, but I move on. This is the installer. This is the Win SDK Setup EXE, and it specify location. I could type in any path here, but I'm just going to use the default. But I'm in the Downloads folder, so it's got Windows Kits 10 SDK. Why does it put the SDK? as a child folder of the kits 10 sdk why is it a little confusing but i'm going to rely on its default and here it says uh debugging tools all right i definitely want the debugging and tools um here's all the other stuff i don't i could care about it i don't really it for this moment so we'll do it i'll install it and it turns out that all this does is just download the stuff which i've already downloaded i already have that folder right here prior to even making this recording and this is even going to say, it's done here, three, two, one, downloads complete. Please find the SDK setup EXE in your downloads windows kits. Here's my downloads windows kits, um, 10 SDK there. All right. To install the software development kit. I, I kind of thought that's what I just did, but all right. So let's run this. Funny, it looks exactly the same as what I just closed. Uh, it's going to install into the same path. And it also sees that debugging tools is not checked. And so this is just going to repeat the same thing. All it does, it's just a downloader. It's not an actual installer. So I'm confused about how to simply install the Windows 11 SDK. But I know that it's basically a, a bunch of installers. So since I'm looking for this m missing redist folder, uh, here's a redist. Let me go in here. No. Um, well, that's kind of a dead end. So let's go back out here to the installers. And hey, right here is that's what I want. So I have these are my installed apps filtered for debuggers. And this came in from installing uh, Visual Studio Preview 17. Four. When I got done with that install, all the Visual Studio stuff was there. All of the Visual Studio stuff is in here. This came in, and in there was also the x86 debugger. But why not the x64? As x86, where is the x64? Well, all right, I'll just install it here. Great. Go on. Well, that was fast. And but hey, it shows up here. Great. Wait. It's four megs. There's no way that's right. I'm being sarcastic here because I've been through this before. Here's, it's gotta be in this folder though, right? No, because wait a minute, x86 CDB is right here. So the x64 would be in, no, it's not there. It's just a bunch of these samples. And so now I'm really confused about where this setup is supposed to be. And so I think, let me just go back to this page, because they did have something about for more information. They're saying, because uh, they say all you have to do is just when you execute it, it'll install. Well, I just did that. It didn't install. Oh, I think this is new. Th this just got added. So thank you, Christopher. Uh, it, you'll see who this guy is in a moment. This was not here yesterday when I stumbled across this, but this details was here. And so let's go to the details. And older comments. So this is a bug report from back in January about this similar problem. 
So this is a problem that's been around since January. So Microsoft, please fix this uh, TLDR. Just fix this problem. But so people were trying to install the Windows debug tools and they're not installed, so they can't debug. Christian, Adam, did get it working. And someone's like, hey, whoa, wait a minute, hold on a second. Uh, the only way you got it to work was you copied the X64 folder. You installed the debug tools on a PC and then you copied that x64 folder from the pc christian says correct uh the on an arm it doesn't install the x64 debugger and then david says it's not a qt bug microsoft bug agreed fix it that was up until january and then as i ran into this yesterday i see that christian adam just commented in october 26th now I don't feel so bad about wanting to necro this this January ticket when the person that opened it, David Cotter, opened it. Christian Adam immediately replied to it. Christian Adam has a response on the 26th, and so I'm, but it doesn't appear to be working to me. And so I chime in about how I've got this dev kit. Uh, I don't say it here, but the ARM64 dev kit 23-23. When I try to run a debug session, I get this. This is the error message I get. The kit does not have a debugger set. Um, so I poked around and I seen the preferences where it's set. This is what it looked like before, where it was just a, uh, yeah, where it's just this one entry of the x86 debugger. And then it has this link of the text here, which I clicked on, which brought me to the web page you just saw, which had a link to this ticket and so I followed those instructions and I download the ARM64EXE and here's the installer and I launch it and it just goes and I don't say it here, but basically it just installs this four little megabyte token. I got to break out the MSI logger or I may literally go to an x86 PC, install it and then copy that install folder, which a lot of times doesn't really work. And this morning, sh soon after, awesome Christian Adam replied back with a lot of detail. So let me zoom out this and give you kind of the whole picture of what he's saying and this is where it gets messed up and it's important to read and microsoft please pay attention he has he was actually using by default uh, i'm filling in some blanks here basically it seems like on his default setup he had total commander installed and he uses total commander as his, his typical file explorer it's important to note here that total commander ships in 32 64-bit installs but i'm willing to bet money on the fact that they're only x86 x64 these are not arm binaries now when he runs cmd from inside total commander he gets this amd 64 but when he runs it the cmd from inside of explorer he gets arm 64 so depending on the the architecture of the process that you launch cmd in it will see the different architecture differently a RM64 or a MD64. And so it's also worth pointing out that there are other CMD EXEs on the hard drive in Windows. There is the system ARM32, which is not really relevant uh, for us. It's the it's the X60 X86 equivalent, so 32 bit equivalent. And then there's the Windows on Windows 64, which is um, Windows 32-bit running on Windows 64. It's clearly running on an ARM64 hardware, but then the process itself, the compile process, is running as either x86 or ARM or ARM64 or AMD64. It's kind of confusing. It's also worth pointing out that Christian was saying that all applications in the system32 folder are ARM ECs. ARM64 ECs, and the only reason I know anything really about that is because um, in this Getting Started Guide document, they do talk a brief snippet about the different target architectures that you can target your flavors for. And there is an ARM EC that they explain, which is, uh, I mean, I click that, emulation compatible. A and then there's ARM64 X, which is a newer one. Uh, it's both a classic ARM64 and E emulation compatible together. So uh, Christian is saying 
that they're all ARM ECs, ARM64 and ARM64X. A bit to absorb there, but in the end, what we've got here is something that looks like this, where this is my, these are my task, this is task manager. These are my processes sorted by the architecture. And you can see the, that I have it like one old kind of legacy binary. Don't worry about that. I have a, a handful of X64 binaries. Curiously, QT Creator, which is the whole goal here of this entire video, is to debug inside QT Creator. It's X64, and it's saying there's no X64 debugger installed. So it doesn't know how to debug. And then it's just kind of weird. There's an ARM32, basically, Photos EXE. It's Microsoft, get jacked together on that. And then the rest are all ARM64s. There's not another thing that's not ARM64 beyond, past that. But curiously, CMD is ARM64, which is expected, actually. And the Explorer is ARM64, which is expected, actually. But the installer that I ran here, I ran this from inside of an ARM64 process. So this MSI installer being run inside of an ARM64 process is what resulted in this four megabyte install. And Christian is saying, don't do that. I'm going to ignore Total Commander here. Total Commander is a, a legit app. I'm a, a familiar with it, acquainted with it. I, I'm not going to advocate that Total Commander is a prerequisite for getting your Windows 30, 64 debugger installed. So it's a data point. As It's just kind of lucky that Christian Adam had it. Because otherwise, he would, we, he would have been stuck in ARM64 land and not had a solution. But he says, uninstall. Remove your existing tools. So watch this. I'm going to remove this. And it goes away. Blam. And it goes away here. Blam. And then go to your... Uh, go. He, he, he basically means go to any process that is... Uh, I'm going to reinterpret this. Go to any process that is an X64 process that can launch another process. I have a few. And so, I've it, also interesting, Windows uh, Visual Studio installer, this guy, this installer is X64. And when I ran it, it only installed the x86 debug tools. It did not install the x64 debug tools. So there's bug number one for you, Microsoft, is that Visual, bug number one, is that Visual Studio 2022 preview 17.4, I don't know about any others. On an ARM 64, when you install it with the Windows 11 SDK, it only installs the x86 debug. But it is an X64, and I would have expected it to have successfully installed, but it didn't. So then inside of any of these others, the reason why Christian Adam got his to work is his total commander is an X64. Just pure dumb luck coincidence that when he ran then the installer on that, it worked. So the other option is from inside of QT Creator, which is an X64 process, you do this. You run Command K. Here's the command line, MSI exec slash I to install and the path to the installer. The same installer I just double clicked on probably 15, 20 minutes ago in this very long video to show, there, it got done, come over here, 93 megs. And now look at this folder, look at this. Now I've got the X64. I'm curious about what is in this ARM64 folder. I've been in here before, and it's basically just some little Win extension JavaScript. So I'm not really sure what that's all about. But if the goal was to get the x86 CDB right here, uh, it's the equivalent, 
the x64 version of this working then right here i now have cdb all because tldr i ran the installer from inside of an x64 process qt creator my only choice was either setup exe or qt creator or any other x64 process that can run command and now my debugging works fine it finds it just fine and my application is running the little border around the screen is the app work so that's that's weird so bug number one is that to me on this on this arm device on an arm 64 device when i install visual studio 2022 the arm variety of it i would expect it to install a 64-bit debugger and it does not and that is breaking things and then this this and and it's when it's installed i'm trying to rephrase this a little bit this is the installer for Visual Studio ARM, but it is running as an X64, and it does not install X64 debugger. But then, bug number two is that you forgive that, you get past that, you ignore that, and you just think, I'm just going to manually install the 64-bit debugger. So inside of either your CMD or your Explorer, inside of either CMD or Explorer. Here's my Explorer. Here's my CMD. From inside of either one of these, you run the same installer and it's just going to be this four megabyte version. And the only way to there without total commander, if you did not have total commander and you did not have QT out of the box, there is no other X64 process that can successfully install the x64 debugger on an arm 64 device does that make any sense so if you hung with me this long i really appreciate it it may not be related to the channel th th that i'm posting this on my channel may not be related to what you're interested in but i personally would really appreciate it if you do a like and subscribe i trying to get to a goal of 100 subscribers, just whatever. But I will be posting this video on the bug that David Cotter reported. I'll be putting a link to this video once edited uh, on this bug. And he also mentions um, that they did open yeah, this one here. So I'll, I'll piggyback on this and uh, post a link. I haven't read any of this. It's back from March, yikes. So I'll necro this and uh, post links there because this is some skill you're broken here. You cannot debug X64 processes on a um, ARM64 device. Now, my mind just got sparked into um, this is I'm building it a 64. I'm literally building an X64 binary. If I go to ARM64, if I flip over to ARM64 and run a build of this, where's the debugger going to be? I think I already have a build of this. So, 3, 2, 1. Uh, let's try one more time. It works. Uh, let's do a clean. Rebuild. I did see this work. I have... I thought I ran this to the point, but I'm going to compile out, but error to, anyway, I'll figure this out. Not really related. Could be for another video about then how to compile an ARM64 QT application for debugging the plot thickens. All right. Thanks for watching.